Hey everybody, happy holidays. So the holidays are officially here. It was Thanksgiving two days ago. So in my mind, it's Christmas. Um, so I'm super, super excited. We are taking Kennedy to meet Santa for the first time today. So really, really excited. So um, I can't wait to see how she does. It's 50-50. <laughs> um, she used to be really good with like characters and stuff, but I don't know. So we'll we'll see. Um, but it's a like a local um, nursery that sells like plants and stuff that's doing photos with Santa. So really excited to take you guys along with us and for us to be able to capture um, her meeting Santa for the first time. So. Kennedy unfortunately was not a big fan of Santa. So the following are. A few of the photos that we did manage to get. We didn't get any uh, video clips of her meeting him because it was just a little chaotic. Um, but we ended up hopping in as a family because she just really was not feeling him. So I'm going to insert the photos. The nursery that we visited is also a farm too. Um, but they have... Um, this giant slide that the kids can go down and um, they have some farm animals there. We thought that we wouldn't have access to that because it is, it's winter now and it's more of just like a summer fall place, but we did, um, it was open. So we were able to take advantage of that. So the following are some clips of that. I don't know what we would do without Annie's Easy Math, whatever it's called. Um, Kennedy like is a pretty picky eater, <laughs> so that is pretty much her go-to dinner. I mean, I balance it out with other things, but um, that's like our old faithful for, for dinner. She is a bit of a picky eater. As you can see or hear over there, she is a little hangry. Um, so a bunch of Amazon packages just came. We just ran a bunch of errands. I'm just about to unpack these. Um, I definitely took a serious advantage of the, some of the Amazon um, Black Friday, which I always feel like super pressure to do that, but then I remember that there's Cyber Monday. So, and the same deals are like, there for Monday too. So um, I just got a few things, like probably I think uh, if I remember correctly, um, one or two toys for her for Christmas, um, some lights for the outside, decorate with, and then I forget what else. But um, just got back from, like I said, just got back from some errands, heating this up, got to undo some packages, get her settled with dinner. My husband is standing duty tonight, so I'm uh, solo tonight. So, um, yeah, <laughs> that's all we got going on here. Okay, so. I cannot believe how tired I look in this video. <laughs> I started <laughs> watching it and I was like, oh my god, this is so bad. So, um, hashtag toddler that doesn't sleep life. So, hopefully many of you mamas can relate. So, I look sleep deprived. Wow. So, pardon my appearance. I don't know, I just figured I'd give them a try. Lots of pieces. Okay. I'm just worried that the lights might be too small, but I don't know. We'll give it a go. I just figured like our outlet situation, the outside and the outside is hard. And then we have, I mean, we, we have like an outdoor power cord, um, but I don't know. I just thought this might be easier for my husband instead of like um, the plug in lights. Let's do that. Um, and we also have like these, what you call it, uh, like I, the icicle lights too that we will plug in. But I just figured that was one less thing for him to have to set up. So. Um, oh, I know. I got um, hangers for stockings. Oh, is that yummy? Mmm. So I got um, stocking hangers because we didn't have any of those. I usually just hang them on like we have this. 
TV console and it's got drawers and I usually just hang them on there. But I feel like we have like a cute little fireplace in this house and so I really just wanted to like, have like hanging stockings at the fireplace. Kennedy gift. These I saw another YouTuber called, um, her name's Alexis Green. She is um, a military spouse that I've watched on YouTube here for forever. So shout out to her. I think she posted, I think this in her, um, when her son turned one, I think. And then it was one of the gifts that I think she got him. And I just saved it in my Amazon cart because Kennedy's like obsessed with little, um, with cars, like playing with, you know, anything cart car wise this is pretty cool so like you'll pull it back it goes forward and then it comes back to you so i think she's really gonna like this so i'm gonna hide this before she sees it um what else do we have here is anyone else can anyone else relate this i mean it's embarrassing sometimes the amazon driver is here twice a day I use Amazon for everything. Like once COVID happened and the shutdown happened and we were just getting everything off of there. And it's like, I just, I don't have any, I mean, I try to, you know, I do like to go out to, to shop for some Christmas gifts too, but I just, it's just so, especially now that I have, a, you know, for Kennedy, it's just so much easier to just have everything delivered. <laughs> it comes like next day. We kind of live, I don't want to, we don't like really live in a rural area, but I know some places like you can get it same day. We don't have that here yet. Um, but I mean, I ordered this like yesterday, late afternoon and it's here at four o'clock today. So, um, oh, okay. So Kennedy right now is really into stacking. So like it was funny, yesterday I had a um, grocery order delivered and she <laughs> literally sat on the floor. It was amazing. I got to put all my groceries away. She sat on the floor stacking um what call it it's been a long day mom brain um she sat on the floor stacking just jars of just like vegetables and stuff like that or cans excuse me um for like 15 minutes while i put everything away so this that gave me the idea that i was like what can i get that you know she can do like stacking so we found me is blocks and they all sort of go into this one giant block and you can like stack them and the you can stack it like really high so this is right up her alley and it also has like abc abc's on them and it has it count you know we're working on counting and all that and colors so it's got like colors and numbers and um i think it even has some shapes on there too for you to like go over with them so um yeah, it's 10 stacking cubes and it can, it can be stacked to over three feet tall. So we're not quite there yet. Maybe I can help her, but um, this was like something that I could tell would really entertain her. I'm really just trying to be a little more intentional with the toys that I get her because I just feel like, you know, she's, you know, she likes figurines and stuff like that, but it's like after a day or two, you know, she just chucks them on the floor and she's bored of them. So I try to rotate them, but I'm just, you know, she's 18 months now. And I'm really just trying to like get toys that I know are gonna busy her, help her development. Obviously like not everything you, you get does that, but I'm just trying to be like a little more intentional um, with what I buy her because I just, I just feel like she's like, gets really bored of stuff really quickly. So I'm just trying to find stuff that really stimulates her brain. So, um, you know, this, like before Christmas or right after Christmas, we were doing like a huge toy purge and donating um, like a lot of her toys because I just really feel like she's outgrown them. It's, it's crazy. It's because like right when they turn a year and a half, I just feel like there's this like total shift. Their brain's just, you know, constantly developing. And I just feel like we went from like early toddler, um, stuff to like, you know, baby stuff that just isn't, isn't cutting it. It's not keeping our attention anymore. So, um, those are some of the things that I took advantage of for Black Friday sales on Amazon. So, um, if you guys want me to um, send you the link or um, put it in, I'll, I'll try to put the, de the links in the description for you guys um, for anything I did show. Um, so hopefully that, maybe I give you guys some ideas of what to get your little ones. If you have um, 
toddlers Kennedy's age. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna, um, her. I think her macaroni should be cooled down. So I'm gonna get her um, set up with that. And I think that's it for the day, so. <laughs> to as much as possible um take Kennedy they have a story time at the sub base library near us so um we there's a, a local submarine base and they the library there does a really great story time so she really likes it so um because we're not putting her into any like program at all yet um I really try to be as active as possible as like bringing her to story times and sing along times at you know local libraries and stuff like that so um, we really enjoy doing this so that is what we are doing this morning and then I have to go do a return at Kohl's you know nothing super exciting just a normal weekday um, when I'm off work so that is what we're doing today so I'll try to get some footage of that I of course had to use stopping at Starbucks. <laughs> so I did a uh, online pickup, so I'm just waiting until my time is able to be ready for so I can run in with Kennedy and get it. Um, but yeah, no, I've just been sort of like thinking a lot about the holidays and it's so hard because it's like, I feel like with social media, Instagram, TikTok, you know, all the, the things, um, it's so hard. I feel like as a mom and just as a person in general, like even, you don't even necessarily have to have kids. Um, you just feel such a sense of pressure for everything to just be so perfect all the time and your house to look perfect and to have all the perfect gifts and because you're constantly just being like shown all these great things that people are doing. And I always feel like I've historically just put like a ton of pressure on myself to try to have everything just be like as perfect as possible but I feel like my joy is shifting in the sense that I'm finding like so much happiness through just seeing the holidays through her eyes or through Kennedy's eyes and I just feel like I'm just like you know what this year I'm just gonna do what I can do um, I'm not gonna go extravagant on like gifts. Um, I'm going to put up some Christmas decorations. I'm not even gonna take out all my Christmas decorations. Um, and just really allow myself to just enjoy the holiday with her. And that's not what's like important to me. What are you doing? What are you doing? Your croissant's coming out. So yeah, so I'm just like not putting my, a lot of pressure on myself this year and just allowing myself to just enjoy this time with her because it's just so amazing to see her eyes light up the Christmas tree and heck, I didn't even put any ornaments on the Christmas tree this year because I know she'd just pull them off and break them. But she thinks it's the greatest thing ever. To me, I think that it's incomplete, but to her, it's the best thing ever. She's, this is the first year that she like understands the tree and the lights and I don't know, I just, I just feel like seeing the holidays through her eyes is allowing myself to, I don't know how to explain it, sort of just realize what's important in the holiday season. And it's really hard to, to sometimes see that because you just, like I said, you can have you have a tendency to put so much pressure on yourself. So all you um, people out there, you know, just remember that. Remember, I think, what the holiday season's about. Um, family and togetherness and being kind and just, you know, it, it might have a different meaning to, to you all, but um, to, to each individual person, but... Um, it's really hard, especially in this day and age, to not get wrapped up in the things that are not so important and forget what really truly is. So I am really trying to center myself this year and 
just remember what's important and just see the or soak up the excitement in her eyes because that's what's truly making the holiday season this year so i just had to have that convo because i was really just kind of thinking about it this morning and kind of building my to-do list for what needs to get done and it's definitely a lot thinner this year because i'm just trying to just focus on the stuff that like really matters so um so yeah Sorry, I had really wanted to try to get some footage of when we walked into the story time so you guys could like see the setup before there were any kids in there. But it just didn't work out like that. <laughs> Once we got in there, Kennedy was running around and I was just chasing after her. So I'm sure as many of you know how that goes. So but at the end of story time, I had to like pee really bad. So um there was a bathroom in like the second floor of the building, so we, we went up there and I don't know that I've ever brought Kennedy into like a public restroom where she has to like stand and then I go to the bathroom. I'll usually only do it when I know I have the stroller because she's like sitting in the stroller. I know she's not gonna like touch anything or try to get on the floor. And she, I, I like, it didn't work out like that. <laughs> um, so I, I was like, okay, maybe I was like, stand, don't touch. And I'm like trying to be like, oh, look at, look up at the lights, like distract her. And she wanted to sit on the floor. Um, and so she had an absolute meltdown that like I wouldn't let her sit on the floor. So it's like trying to like have her sit on my lap because I was going to the bathroom. She was kicking, screaming. I was like, oh my God, someone's gonna call the police. I was like, it sounds like a child is being tortured. <laughs> it was so bad. It was such a fail. So I like be like quickly washed my hands. I washed her hands and be lined up in the bathroom. I was like, oh my God, this is awful. So, and so that also really happened because she is like overdue for her nap at this point. And she's completely passed out in her car seat in the back right now. So yeah, just, uh, I want you moms to all know and your child is melting down in a public place. You are not alone. I am with you. Stand in solidarity. Ugh. Some days, I swear, toddlers can really kick your butt. I mean, it is just unbelievable how something so small could just suck every ounce of energy out of you. Granted, she brings me the most immense amount of joy on the face of the planet. But <laughs> also, <laughs> has the ability to suck every ounce of energy that you have out of you. So, but it's all worth it. <laughs> I know every mom says that, but it is totally true. It is all worth it. But I just needed to share that little story for you guys. Hello. One thing I'm really realizing that I need to get better with is outros. Cause I feel like, again, I think I said this in my last video that it's like a hodgepodge, it's just like day after day. So now I think I'm just gonna, this will be a week in the life vlog because I think I did my first video for you all Saturday of last week and it is now Friday of the following week. So um, we actually have some really fun things going on. Um, tomorrow we are going to Breakfast with Santa at the local Navy base near us. And then we are doing a, um, it's, I guess Santa comes by helicopter. So um, it's called Flying Santa. So um, we are doing that at the base that my husband works on. So really, really excited for that. And today we are just gonna go out to lunch at a, um, a town over and walk around. So um, I'm excited to take you guys along with us and um, for you guys to also get to see um, tomorrow because it's Santa round two two times in one day. <laughs> so hopefully Kennedy maybe does a little better than she did the other week. <laughs>
see the duckies? Um, my husband just ran into um, Cumberland Farms to grab an energy drink, but I'm really excited. We are on our way to do breakfast with Santa with Kennedy, so can't wait to take you guys along. Kennedy, unfortunately, was not a big fan of Santa again, so we did not get any videos or photos other than her running around. <laughs> so the next clip is of Flying Santa at the base that my husband works at. Um, I apologize, the quality of the video is not great. My husband has an Android phone and he took the video and that's the only footage that I have of it, but it was really cute, so I did want to include it in this. Good news is Kennedy was a big fan of the Santa at this event, so I did manage to get a few really cute photos of her, which I will insert right now.